This video is a tour of the cruise ship I built on Simplicity PvP. This one was built in the New World, and so there's not a downloadable map for this world, as it is still currently running. I'll put a link in the description for details about how to find where the ship used to be. It's kind of been blown to pieces as you'll see in the next video. I built this while there was a limit on how far you could travel on the server, and when they put up the limit, players who were outside were allowed to stay outside until they died and respawned within the limit. So I built this in survival mode while being unable to die. If I died, I would have respawned back at the beginning and have been unable to return to where the ship was. By the time I was finished building the ship, it was back down again, and we had a party out of the ship for everyone on the server, which will be in the next video. So for now, enjoy the Minecraft tour of the SS Snowpot Princess. Hello, Reverend Stoningpot here. I'm going to give a tour of my ship just as a backup video, in case it gets destroyed before I make a proper video. So this is the captain's room. This is the uh, captain's walk-in closet. This is the captain's dog on the couch with the big screen TV. With the cake on the kitchen table. This is a kitchen of sorts. There's a toilet with the toilet seat and the bathtub with the shower. This is the only bathtub on the ship that has a working shower built into it. Oh, and over here is a guest room for captain's guests, I guess. Um, this is an officer's quarters. And they have basically rooms that kind of work as a whole apartment. They got their own bathroom, they got a little kitchen area, TV, and living room, dining room, bedroom. That's pretty much the same as that room there. And then down this hall, these ones are all the same exact room. Down in the belly of the ship is all crew stuff. This is the crew lounge. Table with a cake, widescreen TV, couch. These are crew showers. Mm, we got lava dripping in here from the pool up above. And the toilets and the crew showers. A little kitchen area for the crew. These are rooms for the lesser crewmen. They're just uh, bunks with foot lockers and a little oven workstation thing. There's some baby sailors. I just increased the doors so they're breeding like crazy again. My sailor numbers were dwindling. These are all cargo rooms. They all look exactly the same, just a room full of chests. Here's the engine room, which I'm not really sure of how a ship's engine works. I know nothing about ship engines, but essentially what we got here... Oh, sailors everywhere. They love the engine room. So the coal room, you put the coal in the fire. And the fire um, does something, you know, in there to uh, get these big round things spinning. And those round things spin this rod, which spins the propeller inside of there. Um, and I put these cargo doors in here just so testificates that fall overboard can get back into the ship, because they can't climb ladders. Well, maybe they can, they're just really crappy at figuring that out. So, okay, the propeller you can see through here. Um, 
you have a glass, just because that's flat and uh, wide. Um, and we're upstairs. This is the aft deck, of course. Here's our dining room. This is a lobster tank, however, it does not have any lobsters in it because there doesn't happen to be lobsters in Minecraft. Um, so here's the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have the meat station. Got all the meat here. Over here, we got, I don't know, the uh, pasta station. I, I don't know. They have eggs. They cook a lot of eggs and melon and a fish. I was going to catch more fish. So it was more than just one fish, but I suck at that. There's a dog in the pantry. Just as a, as a joke, you know. A joke about serving dogs. There's uh, one of our officers here. Checking out the kitchen, making sure it's all good. She would have faced the camera. That's okay, we'll see more of them. So this is um, the uh, third class rooms. Make sure that's a uh, family third class room. And this is a single third class room. There we go, that's what they look like from the front. Well decorated and fancy officer like uniform. This is the observation lounge. We got these little planter seats with uh, sofas. You can look out to see. I can't see much of anything because my render distance is on tiny. And yes, I'm still getting terrible frame rate because Minecraft is the worst made game ever. I'm not saying it's the worst game, it's a great game, it's just terribly made. I mean, who uses Java to make such a gigantic video game? Java is made for tiny little applications, not gigantic video games. But enough of my bitching. Those are my vending machines I was just looking at. Uh, here's the gymnasium or basketball court. I guess there's not too much interesting stuff here. Um, here's the male locker room. There's the sinks. Those are supposed to be mirrors. I don't know if they pass off as mirrors properly. Toilet stalls, shower stalls. And this water dripping here, I actually purposely put some random water up above the ceiling just so it made it look like the, you know, the shower room was wet and drippy condensation or something. There's the lockers. I'll go back upstairs. So these are the second class rooms. In the second class they have a TV, they have uh, their own toilet without a bath. Go down here, the poolside rooms are technically second class rooms because the beds are still in the main living room, but they have bigger TVs and they have their own bathtub. And those are pretty much all the same there. So here's the sunrise pool, which gets its name because you can watch the sunrise off over the bow. Um, this is a post I put here for Box to reenact her Titanic movie. Um, and this is a climbing wall on the back of the waterfall. With all those buttons on there just look like little handholds like climbing walls have. Um, you can use it as a diving platform. So let's go to the next floor, Deck B. In Deck B here we have the nightclub. Put these lamps in just so you can have lighting in here, but 
the floor is um, made of stairs in a sort of herringbone fashion. So that way you can walk on it flat like, but mobs can't spawn on it. There's the bar, and there's MC Snow. He's rocking the uh, DJ station here. Um, that was DJ Ice, of course, in the. Oops. Yeah. Screwing this up. <laughs> oh no. I can't reach that record from there. Okay, fixed everything. MC Snow rocking out the, uh, the DJ station in the bar, the nightclub. So these are first class rooms now. They are first class rooms because they have separate bedrooms in them. And they're pretty much all the same. A little living area and a bathroom with a bath and a bedroom. That's first class and basically this whole floor is first class room except for this little linen closet. I put all my wool. I wrote Lennings as a uh, Venture Brothers reference. This is the bar. A couple vending machines here. And this bar is you can look at the people swimming from the pool up above. And then there's, you know, there's that extra bar there where people can come up and order their drinks from the outside. Here's the sunset pool, like the other pool. It's named because you can watch the sunset. Now you can swim down and look into the bar. These are old, um, like pool lounging chair things, you know how they do. This is the hot tub. You can sit and relax here and look outside. And over here next to the hot tub is a sauna. Just like any good pool has a sauna and hot tub. The deck is, you know, you've got the heat source in the stone, and then you pour the water over the stones. Um, and there's another locker room. Well, this is the ladies' side, so we'll be quick and get out. Yeah, with two showers and two toilets. And this, of course, the male side. It's just the same exact thing. This is the pig rodeo room, which is... I don't know how many cruise ships have pig rodeo rooms. But yeah, it's just for just the fun fact that I had three saddles. And I couldn't think of many things to do. Up on the top floor, I was kind of running out of ideas here. So I filled up all the good stuff with the bar and the nightclub and the dining room. Here we've got a gift shop. So it looks like it's got all kinds of shelves and stuff, but over here is the actual items, which is just a, an assortment of crap. There's the deck officer for a deck. There's a pet shop. And I don't think cruise ships ever have pet shops on them. I think it was the only cruise ship to ever have a pet shop. But I had to put my cat somewhere. It used to have a lot more than just two cats. But I killed them because they pissed me off quite a bit. The uh, Make Cats More Annoying upgrade was really awful. This is the movie theater. We got Star Wars here playing on the big screen. Um, that's pieced together with four different paintings. I just changed the texture so they're all 
proper piece of the one overall picture. Uh, of course, we got lamps with switches, so you can get it darker in there. Here is the garden room. I made these tiny little trees, so they're all kind of individual representations of their larger form. Made these miniature mushrooms, uh, which you have to have silk touch to gather up mushroom pieces. It's kind of hard to put them back together again because you get all these random different corner pieces, edge pieces, top pieces. It's hard to tell which is which. We've got melons and wheat, and I'm pretty sure I've got everything here. These little cactuses are actually dead bushes. I made them look like little cactuses because it's much nicer. Well, the nether wart, of course, doesn't grow outside of the nether. Oh, I'm going to backtrack here to go look at the bridge, which is up here. This is just a stairwell. Nothing in there. There's our bridge officer. This one here, Ship Museum. That's a Simpsons joke. The rest of these are just stupid little things I came up with. Uh, but here's the uh, the helm. And of course, on short render, I can't can't see what I'm looking at. There we go. There's the front of the ship. There you can see all the way down to the nose of the ship. Um, let's get out and see the roof. I realized earlier I don't actually have proper access to the roof, which is kind of ridiculous because certainly they'd have access for the crew to get up to the roof for maintenance, but you know, that's all I do, I just climb up the wall. Um, that's the bridge. There's the dome over the theater. These are the smokestacks. Um, they're presently empty. I think I'm going to fill them with lava just so when you climb up at the top and look down in you see something. This is my testificate breeding room. Um, because for some reason, even though the ship is covered in doors, only these doors at the top look like I think they need a block above them with the view of the sky. I think that's how it works. Nevertheless, this is working fine. And they're breeding inside the spoiler. It's not a room, it's just the ship spoiler. And I, I don't really think a ship needs a spoiler, but um, in the picture I was referencing, it had one. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's my understanding, like on a race car, that the spoiler you know, catches the air and puts weight down on the uh, car, it pushes the car down to the ground. I don't think a billion ton cruise ship is going to be lifted off the surface of the ocean very easily. But, um, yeah, so that's the whole ship, I do believe. I showed every inch of it. So I'm just going to get in here and... Uh, Sit back and watch the movie, um, and maybe no one will ever see this video because I'm not actually planning on posting it unless my cruise ship gets destroyed. So, thank you and good night.